Coach Brandon here, and today we'll be covering how much weight you can lose through water manipulation when it comes time to cut weight for a competition. So to cover this topic, we're going to go ahead and read off a mass study. Mass went ahead and took two groups of people. Group one had one gallon of water per day for five days, or four days rather, while group two had two and a half gallons of water per day. Now obviously group two was the water loading group. And the aim of the study was to find out, once your body gets used to excreting a certain amount of water, does it continue ex to excrete that same amount of water once water intake drops off? Some similarities of these two groups was that both groups had the same sodium intake, both groups had a low fiber diet, which is important but we'll get to later, they both had the same type and frequency of training, all participants were combat athletes, all came in for blood draws, and both groups had only 1.5 liters of water on the final fifth day. Now, the findings of the study were pretty interesting. Group 1 ended up losing 2.4% of total body weight, while Group 2 had 3.2% of a loss of total body weight. Obviously, there's a pretty big difference between these two groups, but the most important aspect of this is that both groups lost 2% body weight before the dehydration day. Now the reason this is significant is that even without water loading, uh, even group one that had significantly less water still lost a good amount of weight, the same amount of weight as group two before they actually cut down on water intake. Now the reason they think this is is actually because of the low fiber diet. Uh, the more fiber you eat, the more residual content is in your gut. So when it comes time to lose those last f uh, few pounds for a competition, it might be a good idea to manipulate how much fiber one takes in about five days previous to weigh-in. Um, some other aspects that I thought were really important here or uh, things to cover that are really important when it comes to losing weight, we could also go over uh, carbohydrate manipulation because that's another great way to lose those last extra few pounds by decreasing the glycogen stores in your liver and in your muscle tissue. And then you can also manipulate sodium. Those two aspects there are ones that I love to see involved in another study. But this one definitely proved without doubt that water manipulation can have a very positive effect when it comes to water uh, weight cuts. The last thing I really want to kind of cover here is how much can you cut without a decrease in performance. Now the thing about water manipulation is it's fairly effortless. You don't really have to work that hard. You don't have to run miles in a sweatsuit or hop in a sauna. And that's our primary aim here. We want to cut significant amounts of weight without a decrease in performance. Now, how much that number is, is likely between 3.5 to 4.5 percent of your total body weight without affecting performance once you fill in all aspects here. Those aspects are sodium manipulation, carbohydrate manipulation, water manipulation, and finally, the uh, reducing fiber intake a few days previous to competition. Uh, those are all the interesting aspects of this study. That's Brandon Morgan signing out.